Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Feed the Beast Pyramid Reborn. We're going to be going over every single step of getting the Feed the Beast Pyramid Reborn mod pack from downloading it and getting it installed the FTB launcher to even getting in game and kind of checking out the quest and things like that. So it's going to be a really, really, really fun time. But first and foremost, we do have Mr. Mars sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. And if you want a Feed the Beast Pyramid Reborn mod pack, you can get one set up at Apex with just one click. It's super simple, super easy, and very, very user friendly to get an FTB Pyramid Reborn mod pack set up. You literally just search for the mod pack, click on it, click yes, click yes again, and then it will install and your server will be up and running. That's all you have to do, quick and easy without any issues whatsoever. We actually trust Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So again, if you want an FTB Pyramid Reborn server up and running very, very quickly and easily, you can check out Apex at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into this. The first thing we need to do is download the uh, Windows version of the FTB launcher. How do you get to here though? Well, you go to the second link down below. That's going to take you here. This is the Feed the Beast website and right here on the home page we have the windows download button here just go ahead and click on that green download button and it will download the ftb launcher in the bottom left on google chrome if you're on mozilla firefox it's going to pop in the center of your screen and you will need to save the file but as long as it says ftb launcher you're good to go now if we minimize our browser here on my desktop i have the ftb launcher if it's not on your desktop though go ahead and click on the little windows icon for me it's in the top left for you it's probably in the bottom left of your screen but that little windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen and then go ahead and type in downloads you'll have this downloads file folder here and then you can take the FTB launcher and drag it to your desktop just for ease of use. What is on your desktop? Go ahead and double click on it. And then it will open up the installer here, where all you want to do is make sure that this is all the same and just click apply. You don't need to change anything, just click apply. And then it will go through, download, do everything it needs to do to get the launcher. That'll be pretty fast, and now we can install some mod packs. However, before we get started, I want to go ahead and add more RAM. And to do that, go ahead and click on options here. Now, you're going to add RAM right here. This is where you can add RAM. Pretty simple. So I'm going to go ahead and up it to 8 gigabytes, just because I like to do overkill. This mod pack can usually run with about 4 gigabytes to 5 gigabytes, but I'm going to go ahead and do 8 because like I said, why not do more? Less is not more when it comes to RAM and mod packs. So we're going to do quite a bit there. You can also click on advanced options and do things like change your window size and things of that nature if you'd want. However, um, I'm not going to do that. So let's go ahead and click on FTB mod packs here. And then when we scroll down, we'll be able to see FTB Pyramid Reborn. As you can see, there it is, FTB Pyramid Reborn 3.0. That's what we're looking for. So go ahead and click on that. Then come down here to the bottom right, where you'll have this select profile button. Click on that and click create profile. In here, you're going to enter in your Minecraft email and password. The same email and password that you use to log into the normal Minecraft launcher is going to go right here. For the profile name, you can make that whatever you want, but the username and password has to be the exact same one that you enter in to the Minecraft launcher or Minecraft.net. Once you've entered that here, go ahead and click add. And then when you do, you'll be able to click on the drop down box here and select the profile you created. It's going to be whatever that name is, most likely your email address or your Minecraft username. Once you select that, go ahead and click launch. Then it will go ahead and launch up the FTB Pyramid Reborn mod pack. It really is that simple and it really is that easy. Just a few minutes and you can get this mod pack up and running without any issues, any hiccups, anything like that. It's super simple, it's super easy, and um, yeah, that's that. So. It is going to take a while though, it might close out like this, but you still have this up here kind of running through and everything like that. And there we go, it does open up here. Very, very, I miss this old FTB intro sort of a thing they used to do. They've not done that in a while. But I'm gonna move this to kind of be almost full screen here. Not quite full screen, but almost full screen. And uh, then we'll be, we'll be good to go. So when this mod pack is starting up, it could take minutes to get started. Yes, minutes to get started because it just takes a while. I mean, it's installing hundreds and, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of mods. So to do that, it's going to take a while. It's going to take some time to get set up. But once it is set up, we'll be on the main menu and good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead, do a quick little jump cut to the Minecraft main menu where we'll be able to see that this mod pack is in fact up and running without any issues whatsoever. And then I'll jump in game into a single player world to kind of show you what's up there, how to access quest, and a little bit on how to get started. And here we are in the main menu of the FTB Pyramid Reborn mod pack. We go ahead and click on single player here. We can come down here to the bottom right and click create from template. Then we have two FTB Pyramid Reborn. We have the multiplayer and the single player. I'm going to go ahead and obviously click on the single player and click create world. Then we have this new world that we can join right on into. So if you double click on that, it will join us right on into it. It's a bit different. 
than most mod packs with that. You don't create your new world. It creates it for you because, well, you want all the pyramids and all that awesome stuff there in in-game. Anyway, I'm going to do a quick jump cut. Oh, there we go. We are now in-game. And here we are. As you can see, we have the Skyblock version there. I'm sorry. I think I just messed up here. So we have this version here. Um, I'm not in creative. Are cheats on? I don't think cheats are on either. But here's a little pro tip here. If you ever do want to get cheats on in a world, how you do that is simply come over here, click on open to LAN, and then allow cheats. Then boom, and now we can do game mode creative if we want. And yeah, we are now in creative. That simple and that easy. As you can see, all of the uh, awesome modded blocks are here. We also do have the guides here. So as you can see, here are all of the guides and things like that. And then if we go ahead and close out of this, let's see, there we go. We also have the quest book here with all of the different quests and things like that. And we do have the awesome Pyramid Reborn setup. Pretty cool stuff. As you can see, biomes completed and all sorts of stuff is here. So really, really cool. And then over into the Pyramid. Um, then we can go back and I believe, I could be wrong here, that the other world is uh, not the Skyblock world. So if we go ahead and create from template, we have this one which I think is Sky. I think this one might not be, but I'm not positive. So hold on, I'm going to delete both of these because I don't know which is which. Sorry, this is, this is a horrible tutorial. This is a horrible tutorial. Unfortunately, it's impossible for me to know everything about every mod pack. It's overwhelming. There's a lot of mod packs out there. So, yeah. Sorry if I messed up on this one. This might be a Skyblock based mod pack, but for some reason I don't think it is. Let's see. Um, it looks like it is actually. Wow, today I learned that Pyramid Reborn was Skyblock based. But as you can see here, it's kind of a cool world with all sorts of different stuff. Multiplayer, meaning it has multiple areas. Single player, meaning it just had one. So, yeah, there you have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Sorry about that little blunder towards the end of the tutorial there. Seems like there might be something here. I don't know. Anyway, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I'm out. Peace.